tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. If you're finding, if you're, if you're looking for some fantastic cookbooks and a great set of reads, why don't you check out uh, Vicky's website? Because I think the list of books are there. And a flash, the website now, it's tiny, www.tinykitchen.com.ph. That's her official website. And uh, you will find a lot of information about the cooking classes, the cookbooks, and you'll get to know more about Vicky Veloso Barrera and her exciting journey into culinary arts and homemaking. And if they have any questions, do you, you know, do you entertain like questions about cooking, cookbooks? Yeah. They can do you have a... Yeah, especially uh, for they can go to any of my Facebook pages. I have a Facebook page for Tiny Kitchen. I also have a Facebook page for my books. So there is a Facebook page called The Sign of the Rabbit. And also Tiny Planet Books, which is my the, my, my imprint for my children's books. So they yes. can ask questions there about the books, uh, about, about, um, about the recipes. They can request recipes from me, even if they're not my students. You let them help help you pick what to cook and let them do as much as they can. Let them be the one to do whatever they can instead of you trying to do it for them. You know, during my classes, we don't allow the yayas and parents into the kitchen because we want, you know, the kids to do it themselves and they will. They will if, if, if allowed to. They have more fun that way. So, yeah, I would encourage them to, to, to start introducing them to cooking early. Also, if they are not interested, don't yes. cook. Because not all kids will want to cook. Some kids will never have an interest for it. So if they are interested, well and good. And if they're not, you know, that's, it's, not, it's not a problem. I mean, God has given each of us different gifts. You can see us even outlined, you know, you said, I wove everything together. But actually, I didn't. I mean, it was God who wove everything. He put me in a family. Of course. I had passion and food and teaching and you know it uh, it all it all came together and i'm still continuing that i mean he's the one who put me here and so i feel like i'm you know that that the place you know the bible says that the boundary lines for us fall in pleasant places and so i think all of us have our perfect place if we're in tune with, with god because he really does um find the perfect thing for each of us. He gifts us with the things that will give, bring us fulfillment and which would make us useful to other people. So really, it's Him. And we just need to trust Him. And yes. we don't be anxious at this time because yes. the reason there are... It, I know everything looks bad now, but you know, because of this, um, things are going to improve. We're finding out what's wrong in the way we do things, what's wrong you know, with all this crowded travel, too many people on the streets, or, you know, the, uh, lacking infrastructure, hospitals. Those things are coming up so they can be addressed. So, you know, yes. the Bible says God um, makes all things work to the good. So, of all course of we this, love Him. Yeah, so all of this is going to work out. So we don't really have to be anxious. I might look like this, but I have the same problems as everyone else. I had no income this summer and I have obligations, but I'm trusting him. Yes. So. Wonderful. Okay, first of all, if, especially if you live in a condo and have very limited space, try to, to maximize your kitchen space by not having unnecessary equipment there. For me, if you, you just need the most basic, basic things. If you, you don't even really need an oven if you have like a stovetop range. And even at those toaster oven now that can already like bake cookies, they don't take up space. You don't need any fancy equipment. You need a few nonstick pans. You need a, a, a couple of uh, saucepans for boiling water, making sauce. Um, the, the equipment, you can even just um, stick to like wooden spoons because wooden spoons, aside being good for like mixing batters, cake doughs, etc. Are very good on non-stick pans because they won't scratch up your 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 pans. And um, 
the less equipment you have for me the better because in a kitchen the most the most uh, important uh, commodity is counter space you need space yes. to do your work if it's cluttered with this this grinder this, this thing and uh, you know that you only use like once in a blue moon if at all then yes. it's gonna be hard but if you if you can do all if you have a good if you got a chopping board you can do practically everything yeah what you mix in one measuring one or two measuring cups and measuring spoons you don't need a lot you don't need a lot of stuff and then later on you can add what you think is really necessary but um really if you can just maintain as much counter space as you can it's better and um yes. i try i try not to be dependent on machines i don't let my kids my, my students work with like the, the food processor the mixer until you know until they know how to do things by hand they cannot use the dough yeah. until they know how to to knead the dough by hand they cannot use the food processor for pie crust until they know how to do it by hand so you 